is my favorite. They taste absolutely delicious when you cook them. And this one here, this variety is beautiful. So I just need to chop this down. Sad, but it has to be done. The roots are established. They're strong. A strong established root. Look at these beautiful roots. In this video, we have a sad and difficult decision to make. We have to chop down one of our hodl plants in order to save the others. Hello everyone and Asalaamu Alaikum. If you're new to our channel, I'm Akib Ullah. I'm Ali Raja. Asalaamu Alaikum. So without further ado, Dad, let's get started. Let's get started. We all make gardening mistakes. I normally call the experiment. I planted too many khodu plants in this small greenhouse. Mashallah, my khodu plants are doing really well. I've got three khodu plants in this uh, greenhouse. And uh, two of the plants are doing very, very well. They are producing lots of fruits. As you can see, two of our plants are producing beautiful looking khodus on the plants. And yesterday I have harvested our first khodu. This is doing really well. But I'm really fed up with this hodu plant here. I have planted this hodu plant at the same time as I planted the other two. And these are some new seeds that I'm trying out for the first time, which I bought from the internet. Instead of producing flowers, it's just producing leaves and vines. It's simply taking over the greenhouse. I have cucumber plant behind this um, leaves the leaves. It's not getting enough sunlight. I have zinger plants. I have planted two zinger plants in the back of the greenhouse here. They're beautiful, beautiful looking plants, but unfortunately they're not getting enough sun. So I just need to chop this down in order to save the other plants. Difficult decision has to be made. Sad, but it has to be done. We worked really hard to get to this stage. But has to be done. Now don't throw this away. These are edible and very nutritious and very delicious. You cook them with garlic, a little bit of oil and salt. And they're beautiful. Back hips has to be done. Yes, it has to be done, Dad. It just pro it's just producing a lot of leaves. It's taking over the greenhouse. But, Dad, it's also a win-win. We could have lots of... Lots of nutritious hodl leaves and vines. Yes. Oh, my goodness, it's taking over. Yes, it's gone outside the greenhouse as the, well. The plant looks really nice and healthy. I'm sure it would have produced uh, lots of fruits for us. But in the meantime, it might, it's destroying the others. So the other plants are producing khodus. Why not save the others and uh, eat the leaves on this one? It takes a long time to get to this stage. But we have hodu plant producing hodus outside. We'll give you a tour of that in a moment. Dad, just make sure you don't cut the wrong hodu vine. Yes, if you look here, is the vines are going all over the place. So this hodu plant, the vine is going this way, yes? So I just want to make sure that I don't disturb this one. I want to just cut off this one. So that maybe I could just cut off the leaves first. And that would, I can see what's going on. Yeah, that'll be easier. But the hodu plant, the, the vine, they, 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 they trail very fast when, they, when you give them plenty of water and uh, heat and sun. It just takes over. You just have to prune them regularly, eat the vines and the leaves. Make good use of it. Oh my God, the roots are established. They're strong. A strong established root. Look at these beautiful roots. It, it would have produced the fruits for us if I had been patient with it, but the trouble is, it's too many plants and I just need to get the best out of the rest of the plants. Look at this beautiful looking established root. 
so sad, but has to be done. You can see plenty of cucumbers now, and hopefully these will grow now. And you can see the Cicinda plant, uh, you can see the Zynga plant now. Yeah, before we couldn't even see it. Yeah, so now this can be seen. I just may have to prune this cucumber uh, tomato tomatoes. plant. A little bit, just take this down. Take we the have lots of so kodo leaves to eat. Take the bottom leaves of the tomato plants as the tomatoes are growing. So the beautiful looking tomatoes are coming here. Let me just check the, let me take this bottom leaves off. Don't these look beautiful? They look massive now. Look, I, I, I like this um, apple gourd. It's my favourite. They taste absolutely delicious when you cook them. And this one here, this variety is beautiful. So we are getting plenty of khodus. Just Now, by the way, when you're growing khodu plants, uh, thin them out, uh, the, the leaves and the vines. Uh, make sure they're not sort of overlapping each other. You need air to go past them. So you need air to go through them. Otherwise, you'll get moulds on your plants. So we just need to maybe take a few leaves off. Dad, I'm really pleased with our cucumbers. Oh, the cucumbers are doing great. Okay, so what do we grow here? Should we grow like a another cucumber here so we've got plenty of space now yes i think we should grow another cucumber plant here or we could grow like a sisinda plant we can grow sisinda we can grow zinga yeah and um let me take this out oh mashallah look it looks much more brighter here now plenty of sunlight coming here now this cucumber plant will do better now and the zinga so i may have to um, let's take, oh, let's look. look at the amount of cucumbers we are getting. Maybe on the next video we can show everyone how to grow cucumbers and to get plenty of fruits on them. And look over here. So we've been harvesting cucumber for the past three or three weeks actually. And uh, the more you harvest, the more cucumbers you get on your cucumber plants. Let's give you a few updates on the uh, hodo plants that we planted out in, into the ground outside here in the garden. We are getting plenty of hodos. So this one is an apple gourd and it's producing these uh, we've successfully hand pollinated these hodos here. There's one one more on this side okay. Oh yeah okay. there is. And uh, there's plenty of hodos I'm getting. There's another apple gourd there. So if you're growing Bottle gourd hodu in the UK is important. You have to hand pollinate. We don't have much bees and pollinators in the gardens. A lot of bees are getting extinct now, so yes. you need to hand pollinate your. So flowers. this this plant has already trailed onto the um, trellis trellis here, and I have pinched off the growth stem on the top here. Now I'm going to get plenty of side vines on the top. Now, if you want to know how to grow hodus and get plenty of them on your plants. Watch the five tips we have given you uh, on the video before. So we made a video about a week ago and we have uploaded it. We've given you five important tips on how to grow hodu plant, bottle gourds, and to get plenty of hodus on them. Follow those uh, tips and I'm sure you'll get plenty of hodus on your plants. Now let's give you an update on our chili plants. Mashallah, we're getting a lot of chilies. Plenty of chilies. <laughs> Plenty of beautiful looking chilies. These are beautiful looking green chilies. They look nice and spicy, don't they? They look nice and spicy. Now, as they get, as they mature, make sure to um, harvest them so you'll get more chilies on your uh, chili plants. On our next video, we'll be showing you how to get lots of green chilies on your plant. So look out for our next video. Yeah, watch out for the next video. We'll show you how to get plenty of green chilies on your chili plant. Look at these beautiful chilies. And Dad, check this out. Look at this. Oh, wow. <laughs> I like this one. We have a few red ones underneath as well. Yes. 
They look beautiful. This is the Zimbabwe black chili, black Zimbabwe. And oh. look at these bad boys. Now this, this chili plant we saved from last year, this is the uh, Carolina Ripper. It's so hot, it's excessively hot. I tried one the other day, it's incredible. Look, they look amazing. Now on the next video we will, show, we will uh, share tips with you how to make your chilies very spicy, how, the, how, how to get them to uh, ripen. I know it was sad to watch this video, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something from it. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to share our videos with friends and family. As you know, Sharon is Karen. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do something amazing and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time we upload. Stay safe. Asalaamu Alaikum. And until then, I'll see you in the next one. Happy gardening. Asalaamu Alaikum. And I'll see you in the next one. So what, what do you think we should plant um, in that space now, Akib? I think we should plant some cucumbers. Cucumbers, yeah? Yeah. You love your cucumbers, don't you? I love cucumbers. They're one of my favourite vegetables, Dad. Oh, I love this beautiful bottle gold. And Dad, we can go and cook these now. Yes, we're going to give this to your mum and she can cook them now.